We have very unique pictures showing Tesla Semi joining delivery team of Tesla to bring vehicles from Fremont factory for the quarter and push. Do you remember that email recently uh, by Elon Musk to, to the team uh, asking for uh, a quarter and push to improve the numbers? And now apparently they're so busy that even Tesla Semi is joining the delivery team of Tesla for an end of the quarter push. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel and uh, like uh, and ring the notification bell because we bring you very interesting and developing stories about tesla so you may be notified and we re re report about four to six stories about tesla and electric cars every day on this channel second quarter 2020 is a challenging quarter for tesla because the fremont factory was temporarily halted shut down the production over a month due to the virus nevertheless it seems like tesla will show high rates as i reported this morning for several reasons that will surprise us because now semi the tesla semi has joined the delivery team to bring vehicles from fremont factory for the quarter end push twitter user emmanuel reyes posted photos demonstrating that tesla electric trucks Tesla semis are loading up Tesla cars in Fremont, as you're seeing here. These impressive shots demonstrate that semi is ready for full functionality. This is amazing. According to earlier tweets from Tesla CEO Elon Musk, the company has a very busy schedule as it is seeking to deliver as many cars to its customers as possible before the end of the quarter. He wrote, apologies to Tesla customers for shifting delivery dates. It's a crazy world out there. And, at the, and, and added, special thanks to Tesla tracking and rail partners for figuratively and literally going the extra mile. This is a sign that things are very, very busy at Tesla. Apparently, more orders are coming to, to, to make things this busy. And maybe Tesla is out running out of delivery trucks and they're using Tesla Semi, which is not in full production yet, but apparently ready for full, fun full functionality to join the Tesla delivery team to deliver trucks. And maybe this is also a great test for Tesla Semi as well. So despite the global crisis called by this virus, Tesla maintains stronger than expected supplies thanks to, among other things, the dynamics of the Chinese market, which began to recover rapidly after the first quarter. The role of the Giga Shanghai factory is a key to achieve this success. The Tesla Model 3 manufacturing in the Chinese factory still complies with the standard range plus real-world drive access options. Option. However, a few weeks ago, the long-range rail-wheel drive variant also began to roll out from the factory lines, which seems to be in high demand. Tesla was forced to close its Fremont factory from later March, uh, from late March to early May, but in June, sales in North America accelerated markedly, which could bring high deliveries in the second quarter. Tesla is always striving to make a big boost during the end of the quarter. Now, in addition to the third-party transport companies, Tesla delivers cars with the help of its semi truck, which should have a very positive impact on sales figures. This is a really interesting story. So Tesla Semi is apparently really ready and functional. You know, Tesla Semi is Tesla's electric battery powered class 8 semi truck in development by Tesla. For those of you who are not familiar with it, two concept vehicles were unveiled in November 2017 and production is expected in 2021. The company initially announced that the truck would have a 500 miles range on a full charge and with its new batteries it would be able to run for 400 miles after an 80 percent charge in 30 minutes using a solar powered tesla mega charger charging station tesla ceo elon musk said that the semi would come standard with tesla autopilot that allows semi autonomous driving on highways the semi was first mentioned in 
in the Tesla in Tesla in 2016 in the Tesla's 2016 master plan and then unveiled in 2017. Tesla said at the time that they have a working prototype that uses a bunch of Tesla Model 3 electric motors. As of April 2017, Jerome Guyen has been leading the Tesla Semi program. Guyen was once in charge of Freightline's Cascadia diesel engine Class 8 Semi before joining Tesla to configure the Model S production line, but left the Semi program a year later to lead one of the Model 3 General Assembly lines and subsequently became Tesla president of automotive in September 2018. The new lead for the Semi program has not been publicly announced as of late 2019. The Semi was unveiled at a press conference on November 16, 2017, where Musk provided additional specifics. He claimed that the electric Semi would cost 20 cents per mile less to operate than a diesel truck if charged at a mega charger where tesla would guarantee a price of seven cents per kilowatt hour in the united states if the tesla semi is not charged at a mega charger the savings would depend on the cost of electricity the high cost in california for example may eliminate the operating cost benefit in November 2017, Tesla projected that the expected price of regular production version for the 300 and 500 mile range versions would would be US $150,000 and US $180,000 respectively. The company stated they would offer a Founder Series Semi at $200,000. In March 2018, Tesla announced that the Semi was being tested with real cargo hauling battery packs from Nevada to California. In August 2018, a Tesla Semi prototype, tra prototype traveled by itself without escort on accompanying, v or accompanying vehicles for a week to arrive at the J.B. Hunt headquarters in Arkansas. In June 2019, Tesla projected that production would begin by the end of 2020. A few months later, in the October quarter three investor call, uh, Tesla maintained the 2020 production target, albeit in limited numbers. In mid-January 2020, Tesla announced to its reservation holders a winter testing program to validate the semi in cold weather and low traction conditions. A few weeks later, in the 2019 quarter four earnings call, Elon Musk commented on the lack of battery production capability as one limiting factor for the conservative semi production timeline, choosing to use battery supply for passenger cars instead. A toy version of the Semi was released in January 2020 as part of the match Matchbox Convoy line. The first pre-orders of Tesla Semi came in the day of the press conference and by mid-January 2018 approximately 450 Semi had been pre-ordered. The original deposit required for an order was $5,000 which was increased to $20,000 after the event in November. In the quarter one 2018 Tesla earnings call, Elon Musk said that there were about 2,000 total pre-orders of the Semi. In November 2017, Musk said that the Semi would be powered by four electric motors of the type used in the Tesla Model 3. Two batteries configurations of 300 miles and 500 miles range were planned with the battery packs located under the floor of the cab between the back and front of vehicles. Running empty, the long-range Tesla Semi would have a range of 620 miles. Tesla said the Semi would have 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5 seconds unloaded and in 20 seconds fully loaded. The Semi would be able to maintain a speed of 65 miles per hour on a 5% grade. The company tooted a warranty for a million miles and said maintenance would be simpler than the diesel truck. And a, a month after the reveal, Tesla reduced the uphill speed spec um, by 5 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. In the prototype shown in November, the driver's seat was located in the center of the cab. There was a uh, there was a removable jump seat for an extra passenger, and there was no sleeping area. There were touchscreen displays on either side of the steering wheel, and no other instruments, panels. And Musk said that the windshield would be um, explosion explosion proof. 
So Tesla said uh, that the Semi would be equipped with enhanced autopilot as standard equipment offering semi-autonomous capability. Using more radar devices and cameras than Tesla cars, the system would enable the truck to stay in its own lane and a safe distance from other vehicles on a highway would have emergency brake uh, braking and would warn the driver of any potential hazards near the vehicle. Tesla also said that the new technology with active safety control would detect and prevent um, j uh, jackknifing. Musk said that the system would eventually allow several units to operate in an autopilot-based convoy led by a truck with a, with a driver that would be a cheaper alternative to rail transport. At the time of platooning was legal in only eight states and all required a human driver in each truck, so changes in legislation would be necessary to achieve Elon Musk's vision. Media reports noted the lack of specification for vehicle weight as payload is restricted by government rules for the weight of the combined tractor trailer. At the November 2017 press conference, Elon Musk also said that the company would be involved in installing a global network of mega chargers that would be solar powered and would be able to recharge a truck's battery in 30 minutes to a capacity to travel 400 miles. To accomplish this, it will likely have an output level of 1 megawatt. But until now, we haven't seen any mega charger um, being built or any permit for mega charger, uh, at least in the media. Well, friends, I think these are very difficult, uh, very exciting developments for Tesla Semi and Tesla Semi joining the delivery team to bring vehicles from Fremont to uh, make a quarter and push is really an interesting uh, in, uh, um, uh, in point that Tesla is making, telling everyone that that Semi is available with full functionality to be able to do this. Let's see how things go and I'm going to keep an eye on this developing story about Tesla semis and their uh, development. Please subscribe to our channel. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Ring the notification bell so you may be notified when I upload our next story. Let's continue the discussion about your impressions of Tesla semi and Tesla semi joining the uh, delivery team to move vehicles from Fremont uh, for the quarter and push and I'll see you in our next report. Have a great rest of the day. God bless you and take good care of each other, friends. See you soon.